I've spoken before about um, effort versus ease. And the very nature of feminine energy that I've spoken of before as well is one of receptivity, of allowing gifts to come to you. And in the past, I would say the past four days pretty dramatically, it has been demonstrated to me by God about how my own effort and striving is quite possibly batting away these gifts that I'm being offered because I have this headstrong thing where it's suffering and effort over everything, even the end goal. So it's almost like the suffering becomes the product, not what you're looking to produce. And that's, if, if you really strip away the artifice of that, it's really a self-indulgent notion. It's two things. It shows a lack of submission in what is being, being, you're being guided to do. And it also shows a tremendous amount of hubris, meaning that you think that through your efforts, you can orchestrate a measure of control. Now, I am not saying not to try, but in also speaking with my son about this last night, I wanted to kind of like talk about how, you know, I like that I work hard. I love that like ethos and, and he definitely has it. And I said, but I'm finding that I'm almost getting in my own way. My effort is getting in my own way of what I'm actually trying to do. And what he said was, you know, there's this quote from the West Wing. Uh, and he said, you wanted to beat him. I wanted to win. And he goes, and that's the difference. He's like, I would much more strategically place my energy where it's going to be the most effective. And you're going to fucking run into that brick wall with everything you've got. We'll probably both get there, but I won't be spent and you'll be broken. And that is such an analogy for the way that I do so many things. And for all my talk of looking for simplicity, which I have been craving, because that kind of goes along with this reaction to my, um, this hyper forced striving, not effort, striving. Effort is towards a goal. It's using your measured energy to reach a place. Striving is you're kind of getting off on your own suffering as you get there. And I think that this, that falls right in line with like grind and hustle culture, right? It's like, unless you are bleeding out, you haven't worked hard enough. And if you are more strategic about how you work, you never have to bleed out. You have reserves. You have reserves to spare. Maybe even let some things come easily. Maybe you don't have to go to war with yourself every day. Maybe you need to love yourself every day and then you'll be given the gift. This is still in an experimental stage for me. That's where I'm at. And you can tell by my lovely hives that although I'm like, yes, let's try this out. My body's like, what? What the fuck? We're not going to like raise our heart rate to like 300 beats per minute every single workout. No, we're not. We're going to build our strength in a more strategic way. Very foreign to me, but very attractive. So easing into ease is what I am attempting to do. And I'm doing it little by little. And it takes a tremendous amount of compassion. But actually, my effort is in not producing a terrible effort. My effort is in restraint. My effort is in staying still. And letting the gifts that are supposed to come to me, come. That's not to say you don't build your power daily. That's not to say when you want to push yourself to that edge, you do it. You just can't live there. If you live there, the edge itself will become blunt. Or you'll have to keep pushing yourself to a more and more unhealthy edge. This is what I'm discovering, and it's so humbling, and it's a beautiful lesson, and it's fucking hard to learn. I'm fighting it. 
even though I know it's so, I mean, it has been given to me in a physical report. It has been given to me in a report on my art is been given like the examples in my life have been so over the top obvious. Like I'm, I'm seeing some things in my heart that I didn't see before. Why is that? Well, because I don't train smart. I train absolutely smashing myself into the ground as hard as I can on the daily. That's just not even smart. That's not even the way you're supposed to do it. And, and I don't, like, it's like, I don't tell my trainer how hard I go. Like, I sneak. It's fucking weird. My, one of my coaches told me um, that you have to stop with the so much effort. When you're actually in the flow is when your best stuff comes out. Hmm. Okay. Time to look at that. And it just echoes through all that I've, I've been given in the past, again, little, half a week. Um... So I'm, I, this weekend I have the opportunity to get really quiet and to sit with all of this and let it absorb and see what I receive. So I guess what I'm asking you to reflect on today through my crazy travails is what is the difference in your life of striving versus effort? Are you working hard strategically towards a goal, expending your energy where you should, or are you just fucking slogging it out? Because that is what I am trying to back away from. I was getting off on my own, I guess, output of energy, of draining myself to my last drop just to do it. Not even anyone, no one knows I'm doing that, but it's almost like I, it was my own interior payoff of being wasted tired or knowing I went too hard. That does not help anything. And that is such a hard lesson to learn because you know what it really means. It means that even pushing your hardest, you still need help from a greater source than yourself. You cannot be the only source of change in your life. It's going to have to come with external guidance. Just another example. If you're going to submit, if you really want to hear God, that means that you cannot be in control. You can exact efforts towards that end. That is what I offer you today. And I will see you tomorrow.